Welcome back, Rolling Explorers! Today we embark on a daring quest, a journey through the Magic Kingdom. Not on a sleek spaceship or a prancing pony, but on our trusted steed of a mobility scooter. We'll be checking walkway angles like a pro, dodging strollers like a champion skier, and proving that even at 5 miles an hour you can have a magical time at Disney. Forget the brochures, we're talking real life experiences. Join me as I navigate the theme parks, restaurants, and hidden gems on my trusty mobility scooter, giving you the lowdown on accessibility, hidden tips, and the occasional near-death experience. Wait, what? Oh, I'm just kidding, mostly. I'm Dino with Informobility here in Orlando. Main Street, USA. This seemingly flat stretch is actually a sneaky incline, designed to test the skill of even the most seasoned scooterer. But fear not, I've got this. Slow and steady wins the race, especially, especially when battery, battery life is online. Did you know that Disney employs a team of Imagineering inclusion specialists? who design rides and attractions with accessibility in mind. Or that over 70% of Magic Kingdom's attractions are wheelchair accessible. Talk about happily ever inclusivity. Did you know that Cinderella's castle is basically a giant hill in disguise? No wonder she's always running out of breath. But hey, at least she has glass slippers and not scuffed up scooter wheels. And here we are, Tomorrowland. Not just a land of rockets and robots, but of reimagining accessibility for the future. From tactile signage for guests with visual impairments to sensory maps for those on spectrums, Disney's got tomorrow looking bright for everyone. Especially when you're cruising in style on your wheelchair or your scooter.
Battery anxiety alert. Is this trusty chair in need of some refueling? Don't worry, folks. I've charged beforehand and packed enough snacks to power a small village. Plus, there are more charging stations than Dole Whips in this park, so we'll be good in no time. Because a charged scooter is a happy scooter, and a happy scooter means more Disney adventures. Also be prepared for impromptu obstacle courses. Turns out small children and selfie sticks have a talent for appearing out of thin air. But hey, dodging toddlers is basically part of the ninja training course, right? Thank you. Thank you. Look, refreshments! Remember the days of dehydration walks to find accessible counter service? Well now the Magic Kingdom boasts lower counters and designated pickup areas making getting Mickey pretzels and Dole Whips easier than snagging a quick queue for Space Mountain. Yep. Speaking of queues, don't even get me started. No more navigating switchbacks like a Yeti on caffeine. Some designated access lines are the express lane to happily ever afters saving precious shoe leather, or in my case, tire tread and battery life. Did you know that Space Mountain had other names before settling on Space Mountain? The ride was considered for names like Spaceport and Space Voyage. Imagine Disney with a different name for this towering site.
not the first rodeo. This high-tech coaster isn't the first Tron attraction at Disney. Disneyland California had a super speed tunnel version of the People Mover back in the 1970s. Keep in mind that not all rides accommodate a wheelchair or a scooter, so be sure to check up-to-date park info. So pack your patience, your snacks, and your sense of humor, and the Magic Kingdom will be your oyster, even if you're traveling at turtle speed. <laughs>